We are headed to Duluth today from the North Shore. We ended up stopped in a hardware store parking lot because... You can hear the hissing sound. The tire minder system that we use in the truck started letting me know that this one was leaking. I wasn't actually inclined to believe it because we've gotten a lot of false positives from that system before, but it paid off this time. So I noticed that the pressure actually started to come down and down and down. So we're in a little town here called Two Harbors. We pulled over and it's just gonna be a matter of switching out this tire. Well, the spare tire is on. We've only got 50 miles to go to our campground. Thankfully, it's not real far. We can get there. Hopefully, I can get a new tire within the next couple of days. The other crazy thing is with that flat tire, we were delayed getting to the Duluth area. And we're in the Walmart parking lot now because we had a pickup order scheduled for the afternoon thinking we're only going a couple hours. Of course, we're gonna have plenty of time to get here to set up our RV and then to send Kevin over here to get our pickup order because we are down to basically the last dregs of our food supply. <laughs> We've timed it pretty well, but that means we could not miss this pickup order. So instead of being able to drop off the RV at the RV park, we had to bring it here to Walmart. And thankfully the Walmart employees that do the pickup were super accommodating and helpful. They just had us pull in kind of behind the building at the very back past the pickup stalls where you usually park and swing our RV around and then they brought the carts right over to our front door and we loaded everything up. We are now in the front of the parking lot because we just put all the bags in the hallway and now we need to go in and load them into our fridge and go on to our campground. We made it to our campground a little bit south of Duluth here. We actually, I feel like we got an upgrade. We're on this beautiful <laughs> site right up against the St. Louis River here. We were gonna be back in the woods and they said this would be easier for us to get into and I am not disagreeing at all. I've been sitting here with my computer trying to find a replacement tire. So I don't know, we might be here an extra couple of days. I'm loving the water views here. We have no mosquitoes so far. It's wonderful. <laughs> Which is amazing because we had so many up on the North Shore. It was a great visit, but we were ready to be away from those mosquitoes. And as I'm saying that, is that a mosquito? It is. It's a mosquito! <laughs> okay, so there's one. Well, one is okay. Hopefully we can get the tire issue sorted and find a replacement tire and still see Duluth. That is the plan right now. We're enjoying this. Let me take the camera really fast. We are just sitting right here with our chairs right on the waterfront. The kids have been over at the dock playing. It's like their own personal playground, really. Boats have been coming and going, birds are flying. It's wonderful. So we're gonna enjoy some dinner and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. See ya. Well, success. We are in fact getting out to explore Duluth and the surrounding areas as we wait a few days on our new tires. So the first thing that we wanted to check out is a state park in the area called J. Cook State Park. It's really convenient because this is just a couple miles down the road from where we're camped right here along the St. Louis River. This park was founded in 1915 when the power company donated this land for that purpose, which makes sense because they have this huge dam down the stream from here. It's called the Fond du Lac Dam. And we actually saw some of their power stations on our way in here today. So running through the park, you have the St. Louis River Gorge. And the main thing that we're coming to check out today is the suspension bridge that's right down this trail. maybe 30 seconds down the trail from the parking lot and we're already getting our first view of the bridge and the rapids here on the river. 
The bridge was designed by a guy by the name of Oscar Neustrom, and it was built by the CCC all the way back in 1924. It's been rebuilt a number of times, and this is actually the fifth version of it. It's 200 feet long and has a 126 foot span over the St. Louis River here. It's supported by four massive pylons, two on each side, of reinforced concrete. And then it's inlaid with these stones, so it has that nice rustic design. It reminds me a little bit of the Kootenai Swinging Bridge that we saw in Montana. And you were saying something about the river. Yeah, the river reminds me of Great Falls in Virginia near the DC area. There's lots of rapids coming over the rocks. You can actually see a, a waterfall over here that there's a bunch of people up there looking at earlier. So let's go ahead across the bridge and check out the sights. to walk over. It does bounce a little bit, as you expect with suspension bridges, but it's a really neat one. It is very popular, so we had to time it just right so we weren't totally inundated with people to cross, but come check it out. a little bit of a rock scramble up above the rapids here past the bridge where you can climb up and get a better view of the river from here. It looks like the river gets a little calmer upstream and there are more paths that continue up that way, but we are gonna head into Duluth next. downtown Duluth we've driven down to Canal Park which is a really neat area with a bunch of open green spaces shops and restaurants and we're right here next to the Lake Walk Trail. So this is the area that connects Duluth out to Wisconsin Point and into Lake Superior. These two lighthouses at the end the black and white one is the Duluth North Pier Lighthouse and then the red and white one on the other side is called the Superior Entry Lighthouse but the real attraction of being in downtown Duluth and here in Canal Park is behind us. That is the Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge. Built in 1905, it's all steel and it lifts 135 feet in the air when a ship comes under it. Past that, it leads into the twin ports of both Duluth, Minnesota and Superior, Wisconsin. Interestingly enough, there's two very different kind of cargo ships that come through here. The really big ones that are typically over about a thousand feet long, they call them Lakers, and they actually stay in the Great Lakes system for their entire life because they're too big to go out the St. Lawrence Seaway. And then there is another type of a cargo vessel called salties. And they're quite a bit different because they're typically smaller. They're not as buoyant out here in the fresh water, so they actually have a deeper draft, meaning the more of the boat is underwater. <laughs> now let's watch some of those ships come into the canal and see the aerial lift bridge do its thing.
It's really neat walking across the bridge. The cars drive across and it's actually pretty loud. They almost make kind of a sing-songy noise as they go over the grate. So now we came across and we're under the bridge and it's up again because there's another big boat coming through. And that is actually a really good point. Us being across the bridge on the other side, it's much less busy. There's like hardly yeah. anybody here comparatively and everybody else is lined up along the other side here ready for this huge ship to come through. And here we are, we have it practically to ourselves. We should have done this for the first time around, but I'm glad we're over here now to experience it from the other side. You should as well if you come here. That's like the secret spot, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. There's one more place in town that we wanted to mention. We're not gonna make it there today, but it's called Anger Tower. And it is an 80 foot stone tower, five story, and it's up on the hill in Anger Park, and you can overlook the Twin Ports. So <laughs> you can see all of this happening from above. The view, of course, is better from down here, but if you can make it up there, check that out too, because I think that would be a really neat vantage point. And that is it for our time here in Duluth. We have one more stop in the state of Minnesota as we head back west again. So we'll see you all next time. Bye!